Oh, great, look at this. Little pot of buffalo. It's still early morning and also there's so much food around at the moment that you can see there's no big rush for them. It's not like they have to get up and start eating straight away. They can take it a little bit easy, laze around. They'll be able to get their bellies full by the end of the day quite easily. Lots of typical lazy behavior going on, lots of ear flicking, keeping the flies away. And almost all these buffalo are busy ruminating. I've spoken about ruminants quite often over time, but they all eat grass. In this case of buffalo, some other ruminants, things like kudu maybe, or giraffe, also ruminants, they eat leaves. But all, the, all your ruminant animals basically have got a, quite a complex stomach system. You can say essentially three major parts to the stomach if you really get very technical, you can say four parts even. But what they do is during the course of the day they fill their bellies up with their room in that first big stomach with whatever food they eat. In the case of the buffalo, they fill it up with grass. And then at various stages, normally during the middle of the day, early evening and again early mornings, they have these ruminating sessions where they just chew that grass, they regurgitate it and chew it again and keep on doing that and really grind it down to a fine pulp. All that does is it just enhances or improves their ability to digest uh, cellulose and it's the, the more structured part of the, of the plant proteins but also makes the digestive system more efficient if you want per volume of food. No tree to scratch against, I'll just scratch against this other buffalo. See, there's a bit of movement going on. Actually, coming back to that, I mentioned we saw a bit of a herd when we were driving over when we didn't have signal. It must be part of the same herd. It's in a straight line only about 100 meters from here. Maybe they just slept in sort of different pockets last night. <laughs> Whoa. There was a young bull trying to mate with a female there. I just see there's a bigger bull heading over there now as well. Might be that she's an estrus. And that's why she didn't want to have him. Estrus females really do prefer being mated by or mating with the biggest males in the group. Sniffing the breeze. I love the noses of buffalo. If you have a close look, you'll see they're always shiny, always moist. It's one of the very efficient ways that they cool themselves, is that wet nose. But it just always looks so nice and soft and cool.
bit more morning ablutions, a bit of scratching and cleaning. You see the very specific spot that Buffalo is trying to reach, just behind the ear and the horn there. Beautiful young calf, probably about six months or so, five months. Quite a bit of activity. I see Alex is spinning around trying to see where to look. We've got buffalo right here to our left as well. This one is only about six, seven feet away from the calf. Oxbeck is making a noise. They're also getting more active now as these buffalo start moving around. Seems the day is beginning a little bit more in earnest for these buffalo. <laughs> a youngster trying to scratch itself in the back there as well. You get that quite often. Obviously this one has learned it from the adults or the grown-ups. Just literally walking through bushes over them and sort of just using them as a big brush really. That way you can get to scratch your side and your underbelly in between your legs, everywhere that you might have a few things that's causing you to itch. Regarding Buffalo country from Cynthia, you would like to know how can you tell when Buffalo are unhappy and are ready to let one know that they are angry and are about to charge? Um, Cynthia, there's not actually that many opportunities. So let me just re-mention re that question. She's just asking how do you know if Buffalo are about to charge, if they're getting unhappy with you? Um, if there's a bit of discomfort or irritation, you'll see them shaking their heads or snorting even pawing the ground or hoofing the ground like you see with bulls sometimes. But typically speaking, buffalo don't really give you too many warnings. If they are going to be charging you, your first real clear warning will be when there's a big one-ton animal running at you. And buffalo don't really mock charge either. It's not 